What's up? Welcome back. I'm sure you're wondering where I am because this is not my house. We're in California, in Los Angeles. I have a story to tell you guys. So for a long time, Justin and I have been talking about moving out to the West Coast, just exploring the West Coast, different cities, San Francisco, Los Angeles. We were just curious what it was like to live in California. Do it! Last Thursday, we packed up all of our stuff. We got the rental car. I'm sitting in it. We're packing tonight and we leave tomorrow. Can't believe this is happening. We packed everything we could think of because we're gonna be here for a pretty decent amount of time. On Friday morning, we left and we drove from Bethesda, Maryland, which is where we live, to Chicago, Illinois. We didn't take a lot of videos or pictures because we've done this drive hundreds of times, not hundreds. We've done this drive a lot because Justin went to the University of Michigan. So we've done, we're pretty familiar with that drive. Okay, so we are on stop number four. We are at a Love's truck stop. But did you know that Love's truck stops have dog parks? This is the best find. It was a long drive, but when we got there, one of Justin's friends, Josh, had just gotten a dog, Tia, and Riley and Tia played all night, which was adorable. And it was really nice because Riley was really, really tired the next day in the car. So those days, we passed through Maryland, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Indiana, and Illinois. My dog just got back from a walk. The next day, we woke up and we drove from Chicago to Denver, and on that drive, we stopped in Iowa, Nebraska, and Colorado. So our first stop was in Des Moines, Iowa, and it was actually a really cute town. It was much bigger than Justin and I were expecting. It had a real small town, Midwest city feel. It was really nice. And then the next place that we stopped was Omaha, Nebraska. Omaha, Nebraska, Omaha, Nebraska. There's Nebraska. And this one was really surprising too. Sweet home, Nebraska. It was much bigger than we thought it was gonna be. Nebraska has beer. It had like a small town, hippie, um, small coffee shop kind of place. Do you want to be a Omaha, Nebraska boy? Really, really pretty small town. I would go back and hang out in Omaha, Nebraska, <laughs> which I never thought I would say. And then the last place that we stopped was this place called Kearney, Kearney, Nebraska. We happened to just pull in there and we rolled into this like time capsule from the 1950s. They had Elvis playing in the streets. They have an annual festival where everyone brings their old timey cars and they drive down the street. We stayed for like five minutes and saw a couple of cars. And when we weren't in those three cities, all we saw were cornfields, flat farmland, fields, windmills, corn. The next morning we woke up, we had pancakes and we carved some pumpkins and we hung out the whole day to visit his family. And it was really nice because Justin and I have been dating for eight years and I've never met his extended family. That night we ended up staying with Justin's family in Denver. <laughs> She's like a and then that night we ended up leaving Denver and driving to Fruta, Colorado and staying in this like very blue Airbnb. I'll insert some footage here, but very blue. I think it's right outside of the Rocky Mountains. And the next morning we woke up in Fruta and drove to Los Angeles. On that drive, we drove through Utah, Nevada, Arizona, and California. We drove past all of these, I'm not sure what they're to call them, mountains or canyons, but we drove through like the big red rocks. Radiator Springs. Is that where we are? No. And like the Grand Canyon type rocks. We drove past Moab and Zion, which are two huge state parks. Because it was just absolutely stunning. Photos and videos don't do it justice or don't really show the scale of how huge these rock structures were. They were massive. And then in Nevada, of course, we stopped in Las Vegas. Nevada. And it was Monday at like three o'clock and it felt like Times Square during rush hour. It was so packed. It was absolute chaos. The second we got off the exit, we regretted doing it, but it was really cool to see. And then after that, we left Vegas and we drove all the way out here to Los Angeles and we're here. <sighs> So we'll be here for a month and then we will have another 10 state road trip back to Maryland. But for now, we're in Los Angeles.